Nebraska Land Day's calendar of events, brought to you by Al's Lock and Save, Front Street Auto Glass, and the Platt Bar. Hey, Derek Beck, North Platte Post. Uh, we're talking with David Fudge, Executive Director of Nebraska Land Day. He's got Memorial Day. It's going to be coming up. And then, <laughs> David, we're into June, and, and here we go. Here we go. Um, the festival uh, starts officially on June 14th this year and, and runs for 10 days, wraps it up on June 23rd and 24th. Some really great shows. The rodeo uh, kind of uh, bookends the, the first part of the week and the parade. And then, of course, everybody's talking about the concerts. I've had more than a dozen people plus uh, that have come to me over the last year and they go, how do they, when's this going to stop all, all the big acts? Um, it's just, you've been able to get to a level and keep it at that level, if not exceed some years. That's an incredible task for a community the size that we have. It is. And we've got some really great people who work for us uh, in Nashville that kind of help facilitate that. And, and you don't get what we've been able to do done without people who, can move the needle a little bit. Uh, we're routed to some really great partners in Grand Junction, and so uh, we've been able to come together and and work work on on some acts that have, have paid off. So well, it's one thing to have one fantastic night and maybe an okay second night, or, or vice versa. You have two. When you talk about Cody Johnson, has been on such a rise the last couple of years. It feels like you caught him on a great night. Jason Aldean's awesome. But who would have thought Lainey Wilson, when that was when you announced that, maybe you did, um, you've got two epic nights. Yeah, really, really epic. And, and really, they're great from start to finish, right? So Cody's night, Randall King, if you were to imagine a Texas honky-tonk and the prototypical Texas honky-tonk band, that's the Randall King. Uh, and then Morgan Wade is an absolute up-and-comer, uh, really a female powerhouse, um, really writes raw uh, emotional music, and she's really a great little performer. And then Cody Johnson, I mean, what do you say about Cody Johnson, right? So then the next night, you come back with Jason Aldean, and after the award season started last fall, our agent actually calls us up and says, and he's laughing at me when I answer the phone, and he goes, can you believe our luck? And that was because Lainey Wilson yeah. had basically, you know, female vocalist of the year and all that good stuff. So, and then to get Connor Smith on top of all that, uh, he's represented by a friend of ours at the festival, and, and we, we met each other in, in uh, Nashville last October, put together the deal on him. And so I'm really, really excited about the package from top to bottom both nights. Now you guys changed things up a little bit uh, in the parking lot as people came in a year ago. Is that going to be real similar this year? Real similar. We again we've made a few logistical changes and actually changed some equipment. There's some okay. there's some new tech that we're uh, going to integrate this year from a company called Ingresso Tech. They do uh, security screenings at a lot a lot of the major venues around the around the country, and they do a really great job at it. So it'll be again a much more efficient uh, system coming in. There'll also be a new area where people can line up uh, as part of our new parking lot design. We'll have a lane for people to line up in to try and make it safer and more efficient to get people into the facility. When you have these kinds of crowds, you got to have a plan. You guys have just continued to work that, and, and it seems like things are going in the right direction for yeah, sure there. Absolutely. And again, I, I stress every year, if you're coming to these concerts, either one of the nights, because we're expecting 10,000 plus both nights, don't wait till 7 o'clock to come out here. The, the venue opens at 5 for a reason. We want you to come in, get in early, so you're not stuck in traffic and trying to get out here at the last minute. So come early, utilize the public transit if you want to do that. That's a great option as well. We'll have plenty of parking here available. If you do want tickets, there's still a few as we speak on sale. Yep, still uh, still a few on sale to both those shows. Um, a lot of GA tickets left. A lot of the seating is all but, all but gone. So um, make sure you get those bought up at NebraskaLandDays.com. Digital delivery, if you have tickets bought, digital delivery on those tickets will take place 30 days prior to the show. So you should see those start rolling out here in the next week. All right. And as uh, far as a bag policy? Clear bags. Uh, that bag policy is, is on the website. So it's a clear bag, real similar to what you'd find at Memorial Stadium or something like that, like a 10 by 10 by 4 deep clear bag. We won't search them. That's not what we're here to do. Uh, but we want to make sure everybody's safe and has a good time. It's going to be a heck of a festival, and it starts soon. If you want to see all the details, you can do that at NebraskaLandDays.com. David Fudge, Executive Director of Nebraska Land Days. And we'll have more next Friday as we, uh, we inch closer and closer to Nebraska Land Days 2023. Nebraska Land Days calendar of events brought to you by Al's Lock and Safe, Front Street Auto Glass, and the Platte Bar.